Hi, this is John Sowash again. I'm going to show you a quick little overview of the new Explorer feature, this time inside of Google Docs. Um, this is a, a, an article I wrote um, on Google Forms. It's a, a Google document. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Explorer tool. Um, the Explorer tool has now replaced um, what used to be called Research in Google Docs. So it's under the Tools menu, the second option here, you'll see Explore. And when I open that up, it's it is it's kind of interesting. It actually reads my document and kind of looks at the content and tries to present me with relevant um, information. Uh, so it's looking at some of the major topics in this document, suggesting some images and some related web links. One of the interesting things that you can try to do is take a sentence or something from your document and. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste that into the search box. And uh, again, same thing, it shows you web results, but it also will show you related information in your Google Drive account. So if I'm thinking, you know, hey, did I write an article about this or have I ever written or created a presentation about this before, it will actually search through my Google Drive account uh, and try to find that. It also has images. So if I uh, see an image that I like, I can um, grab one and drag it into my document like before. Now, teachers who are familiar with the former research tool in Google Drive are sadly, unfortunately, going to be extremely angry and frustrated by this new update because the citation tool and a lot of the, the tools that uh, educators came to really love and appreciate are now gone. You cannot change the citation method it does not footnote the um, URL anymore. It just throws it right below uh, the image. So I'm afraid that at the moment, um, teachers and students are going to feel that the new Explore feature is more of a step back from Google than a step forward.